with all the excitement going on in the crypto space, uh, people are buying NFTs and uh, tokens um, like it's going out of fashion. So um, often we would find ourselves buying a whole lot of different uh, um, NFTs, for instance, and uh, it's often hard to actually keep track of what you bought and at what price uh, point uh, you bought it. So. Um, a few days ago, I shared with you guys uh, how to actually keep track uh, of it uh, digitally. And then uh, now I'll also show you how you can um, actually uh, keep track of your portfolio uh, by uh, um, having a page where you can write down, etc. Because I know a lot of you prefer that method. Now, we obviously uh, don't want to um, end up with a zoo uh, um, where we do not keep track of our portfolio, uh, like uh, Warren Buffett says. So. The following uh, um, tip will actually help you to always know whether you are in profit, whether you reach your goal uh, or not. So uh, without further ado, um, what you can do is you can um, go down to the description and uh, or uh, the comments, then you can actually find the link to download this. So once you have downloaded uh, this, then um, uh, you can always print it uh, or like myself, I, what I do is I just edit this uh, on my computer and I uh, use it that way. So this you can actually use for either uh, NFTs or uh, um, a coin that you actually bought. Now um, on it are different uh, um, tables where uh, by I think that um, it's uh, the most important data that you actually want to um, keep track of uh, like the date when you bought it, uh, the dollar uh, price per unit, uh, the crypto price uh, per unit and then I'm going to explain what all of those are, uh, the quantity of units, uh, you can have some notes and you can mark off whether you sold it or not. Now guys, this don't have to be um, like coins that you already bought let's say uh, uh let's let's uh, keep this uh, um on nfts i'm going to mention nfts but you can um basically use it for coins as well uh, to take your portfolio so a paper trade is uh, basically uh, um what you do when uh, you write down what you would have bought and what the end result would have been so many times i would uh like share with you guys which NFTs uh, we are buying like we did in uh, on the 19th of December up to now we are up over 400 percent in profit um, some of you uh, also uh, showed interest in uh, the coins that we are uh, actually investing into so um, I shared with you the five coins that I believe that is actually also going to um, do a 10x and more and um, let's say you do have the funds at the time to actually uh, purchase them then what you will do is you can keep track here and um, follow along but let's say you do not have the funds at the point of time when sharing uh, this uh, valuable um, data so what you can do is you can do a paper trade and just go and add in um, like you have bought it basically so you would put down the uh, like in this case an NFT's name the date that you bought it on the dollar price per unit so let's say um, this NFT cost a hundred dollars you obviously put a hundred dollars here then you put down the crypto price per unit so let's say this NFT uh, cost a uh, hundred ADA and one ADA was um, at the time was one US dollar and obviously um, that corresponds so it is 100 ADA and one ADA is obviously um, a one US dollar then um, it's 100 uh, dollars for the specific unit so the quantity of units how many uh, of those did you buy so did you buy one did you buy two did you buy three according to the strategy uh, most probably you buy three or more because uh, what we do is obviously once it reaches three times that, you sell it and then you have your funds back and um, you are slowly building your portfolio, your NFT portfolio. Then some notes, maybe why you bought it or um, whether uh, um, anything that you want to put in there that will remind you um, about the project, maybe something that's coming up in the roadmap, etc. Then you can just mark down whether you sold it or not. Now, 
let's go to my personal one. So I jotted down two of my projects that I've basically invested into. So Gaussia on the 19th uh, uh, of December, uh, like less than a month ago, um, we bought it at 12 ADA and currently it's at 22 ADA, but um, so we bought it at 12 uh, US dollars and um, the NFT cost us 44 uh, um, ADA so 44 uh, and um, ADA and one ADA at that point of time was uh, 27 US dollar cents uh, so it equals like 12 dollars so you can always um, put down your local currency if your local currency is the pound or whatever you can always or the hand you can always put that down there so how many of those did I uh, buy I bought 41 of them uh, notes why did I buy it because of their partnerships uh, and the fact that they have staking uh, um, launching on the 28th of uh, January uh, have I sold them uh, there's nothing there so I haven't sold them so it's important that you want to tick off what you have sold so you don't waste time to actually go back and check on that. Derbirds, for instance, um, on the 1st uh, of April uh, last year, I bought um, 26 of them at around about 83 US dollars per uh, uh, Derbirds. So back then it was around about 65, 67, 70 ADA per Derbirds. We know that uh, currently they are at over a thousand uh, ADA per uh, Derbert. So why did I uh, buy it? Because of the tech they are uh, building, the technology, because the technology isn't only for themselves or for the collection, it is for other NFT projects. They uh, uh, according to uh, um, partnerships with uh, the founder of Cardano, basically where they are able to um, actually showcase the uh, skill and um, who knows uh, the tech that they are building it, um, it is needed throughout the industry and not only when it comes to nfts etc so let's say it's a coin that you want to um, also keep track of so what like for instance link i believe that link uh, um, link is one of the five that uh, i shared with you guys uh, link is one of the five coins that i believe that it's going to 10x so uh, link here uh, the date uh, yesterday's date was the okay doesn't look like I can find the day's date uh, okay it's the 11th today so on the 10th of uh, January I shared the five um, coins so link I bought yesterday so um, I bought then you can put in here the uh, 10th of January 2023 um, dollar price per unit six dollars per unit um, the capital price per unit so uh, what did I buy with did I use uh, USDT did I use my ADA did I use uh, Ethereum did I use BNB I just write down the value there how many did I buy it's six dollars Let's say I bought uh, 10 of them for $60. So um, I would obviously put here 10. And the fact that um, Link, because it's a profit uh, generating company, uh, because um, of the technology that they build, I mean the blockchain, um, different blockchains, they, the fact that Link is almost a, uh, um, Blockchains can't run, almost uh, blockchains can't run without link uh, where they can actually uh, add or keep track of data. So um, I share in the video why I believe in the, the specific um, token or the project. So guys, I know that this will help you. So uh, all the best. And I trust that uh, you will use this in order to keep track of your portfolio because, uh, guys, if you don't keep track of your portfolio, you won't know whether you are making or, uh, profit or whether you are uh, actually in a loss. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you in my next video.